Hi, I'm Dr. Hauser, and thank you for choosing us for your surgical procedure. Your surgery is coming up in a few weeks, and what do you need to know before surgery? First, about four weeks before surgery, if you smoke, you need to stop. All nicotine and cigarette products can affect your healing after surgery. Two weeks before surgery, we ask that you stop all blood thinners. This would include aspirin, ibuprofen, and any vitamins that you may be taking, as these can affect your bleeding and bruising after surgery. A week or so before your surgery, you may have a preoperative appointment with either myself or our nurse, and at that time you'll be given your prescriptions for medications to take after your procedure. That way you can have them filled in at home and not have to worry about it on your way home. The night before surgery, have a light meal, and then nothing to eat or drink after midnight. The morning of surgery, you can brush your teeth and then come to the office at your appointed time. When you arrive for your procedure, you'll be taken back into the surgical area and prepared for surgery. On the day of your procedure, please wear loose-fitting clothing, and most surgeries involve a sedation, so you will need a responsible driver to take you home. The rest of that day, you're just going to relax at home on the couch and get some rest. It's important to have some downtime after surgery so that you can adequately recover from your procedure. Following these instructions will ensure that your procedure is safe, effective, and that you will achieve your intended goals. We look forward to working with you. Your upcoming surgery is an abdominoplasty, and so what should you expect after that surgery? This surgery will involve the use of a drain. There are very few surgeries that I do that require the use of a drain, but this is a necessary evil. On the day of your surgery, you will go home with a garment in place, and your sutures are dissolvable under the skin. The drain usually exits from the right side of the incision, and it is something that you'll have to take care of once you get home. Two days after surgery, you can shower, and you want to remove the garment, remove the dressings, and shower with lukewarm water with your back to the shower head. Following your shower, dry off and replace the garment. A helpful tip is to use a cotton t-shirt as a dressing and then put the binder over top of that. That way you don't have to bother with dressings. There may be a small amount of drainage from your incision, but not much, as most of it comes out through the drain. This is the typical drain that I use with abdominoplasties and occasionally with breast reconstructive surgeries. You will be required to take care of this at home and record how much drainage is coming out into what we call a hand grenade. Two to three times a day, I ask that you remove this plug and let the fluid settle down at the bottom of the drain. There are several lines. There's 25 cc's, 50, 75, and 100. And I just need an estimate of how much is in the drain. Write that down on a piece of paper with the day and time, and then empty it into the sink. There's no need to be overly accurate. Just an estimate is fine. Write down on a piece of paper the amount, the day and the time, and then squeeze this out into the sink, collapse the drain, and replace the plug. The drain should always be collapsed so that it's under suction at all times. When you're showering, we'll provide a lanyard for you that you can wear around your neck and attach the drain to the lanyard so that it's not dangling at your side. When the drainage gets down to about 30 cc's or milliliters for a 24-hour period, that's when it's ready to be taken out. And that usually coincides with your first post-operative appointment at a week after surgery.
Your upcoming procedure involves breast augmentation. So what should you expect after surgery? First, there may be some bruising on the bottom portion of the breast and occasionally over to the side. That's perfectly normal. But if you have questions or concerns about it, please don't hesitate to call us. Two days after surgery, you can shower, remove the bra that we will have provided for you and remove the gauze. Shower with lukewarm water with your back facing the shower head. After your shower, put the bra back on or a light camisole. My rules after surgery are no lifting, pushing, pulling heavier than five pounds for two weeks after surgery and no underwire bras until I tell you otherwise. The sutures are dissolvable and will go away on their own. If the stary strips or paper tapes over top of the incision are still there when I see you in recovery, then we'll remove them. Often your final results may be achieved within six weeks after surgery, but it may take longer, up to three to four months. We're here to ensure that you are happy with your results and look forward to working with you. Your upcoming procedure involves a facelift, and oftentimes we will combine that with other facial procedures such as eyelid surgery or brow lifting. On the day of your surgery, you'll go home with a compression garment, which is an elastic band under your chin to help reduce swelling on your neck. You may also have cool compresses for your eyes. Expect to see some bruising in the cheeks and possibly down onto your chest as a result of the surgery. If there's anything that looks out of the ordinary, please don't hesitate to call us. There is no lifting, pushing, or pulling heavier than five pounds for the first two weeks after surgery, and we prefer that you sleep with your head elevated to help reduce swelling as well. A week after surgery, you'll come to the office and the permanent sutures will be removed. We'll then check you a couple of weeks after that to ensure that the dissolvable sutures are going away as well. You will have some bruising at a week after surgery that with a little bit of makeup you can cover up and go on about your daily business. Final results may not be seen for two to three months after surgery.